become like war zones in the city, especially for nurses. New York One's Lydia Hu spent the day with a nurse at Lenox Hill Hospital. I don't think I'll ever forget it. We had to break the news to them on Friday, March 13th at like three o'clock in the afternoon. About two months after being promoted to assistant nurse manager at Lenox Hill Hospital, Emily Wallace faced her toughest assignment yet, preparing her nursing unit for a surge of gravely ill coronavirus patients. Their 18 oncology and epilepsy patients had to be moved out so 21 people with COVID-19 could move in. Definitely a crazy experience becoming new into management during a health emergency, a global health crisis. Wallace started a video diary in early April. Just getting ready for work, heading into another day of COVID. I got my extra clothes so I can change after I leave. It's nice having a bus to yourself. Um, it's good that everybody's staying home. It's uh, really weird that New York City is just empty right now. Lunch came out. You can see all the lunch trays come on disposables. But, you know, the nurses have to take them into each room. Um, the food hosts aren't allowed to go in the COVID rooms. She reflects on the needs of desperate patients. On one day, five emergency pages within three hours, which she says are calls for an intubation. This is just the endless number of acute patients that we need to, you know, attend to here. Um, just another bad day in the fight of COVID-19. Wallace worked an 11 hour shift on April 3rd, a day the city reported 1,633 people were admitted to local hospitals and later tested positive for the coronavirus. Just the sheer amount of patients that we are seeing coming through the doors is just unbelievable here in New York City. So the fight against COVID doesn't stop either. And still the relentless return to save more lives. This is just the calm before the storm. Pulling Wallace through the tough moments are her fellow nurses, Hello. the doctors. This is my friend, Dr. Chong. We're homie. You can see everybody's cheering for healthcare providers. And the cheers from locals on the Upper East Side. Probably the best part of my day. Four weeks after her floor was converted into a COVID unit, Wallace sees a change. Healthcare workers are gaining confidence. More patients are improving. Overall, I think she reports 45 patients were discharged in one day. Every time a patient with COVID is discharged home or extubated safely and is doing well and recovering, they actually call a code "sun" over the loudspeaker. And the song, Here Comes the Sun, starts playing over the loudspeaker for literally the entire hospital to hear. We know there's a light at the end of this tunnel. We know that it will get better. And so we just got to keep working until we get there. Lydia Hu, New York One.